Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. You will notice my superior position and the fact you can see up my nostrils way too much. Um, I have a new chair, which means we are slowly piecing together what looks vaguely like a streamer setup. Um, we're not there yet. There is so much mess around me you wouldn't believe, which is why you're zoomed in on my face. But we are on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, a blind playthrough as Welcome, everything's Shepard. going Please wrong. The destination. Earth has blown up. Palavan's blown up. Uh, I guess it's any of interest time. To you are highlighted on the elevator I've got to go menu. to the prison, have I? One moment, I think please. the prison's on the common. Uh, yes, as we spoke to Bailey, we've got to let a psychopath out. Now arriving at Prismidium um, Commons. Jonas Sedaris. Have you decided how to tell him? Um, no. Yes, we've got to help Arya to stop more worlds being blown up. And she said that we can get on our side. You don't think Sanctuary the group that we basically soloed ourselves with Garrus. So not solo. Like the two of us basically killed all three groups. But we can get them on our side. Don't know what they're going to do. Hello, sir. I'm here to free a psychopath. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Okay. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. <laughs> when you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Hello there. Get out of your own office. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, oh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You're in prison. And I know Arya said I have to release you, but don't threaten me. <laughs> like, I can just switch this off and walk away. It'd be smart to bury the threat, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. What? Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Saying my second in command is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She just told me how to, how to get rid of her, basically. Hey, go find my second in command. He'll never take over. Um. Uh, okay, so... Morally... We've got to get the second in command. But sometimes... You just need to release a psychopath. Ah, <laughs> uh, she'd probably end up killing more people than bad people. More of our people than bad people. But you need people with no compassion. You need people that don't feel lost. Because they're just going to be like, Yeah, we'll kill the Reapers. I'll sacrifice a couple of people to do it. I'll find another solution. Hopefully that means I can still go back and get her out if I need to, but I want to see this other guy first. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Cool. Um... Sane. Oh, there you go. Dana Vosk, Sane, and Garrus. Dana Vosk. I know that name. Oh, there's so many names to remember, and I can't. Um, the council called the right, so we're going to go and see... What was the other one we needed? Uh, there was another Arya one. Uh, Bruce Sons. Arya Tloak has requested assistance uniting mercenary bands under her control. Speak to Dana Vosk in the Citadel refugee camp. That's why I remember his name. Because she told me it. That was me thinking it was something from Mass Effect 1 that I couldn't, couldn't remember. Nope, it was last episode. Uh, Welcome, Commander Shepard. Where was it? Please yeah. select a destination. Uh, the place with Garrus. One moment, please. 
I'm hoping to get off the Citadel this episode. I really now am. Arriving at Docking Bay E24. All this politics and decisions, they make me want to kill something. Right. You should visit. I was on my boat when, boom, the sky went black. Dust and ash. A giant metal wall rushed down. I fell into the river. You humans ever stop talking? <laughs> when I climbed out, I heard screaming. The metal wall started to move and I realized it was a leg. Only one of the Reaper's legs. Yeah, read the room, man. Like, that Batarian has probably lost everything. And you're like, I escaped my boat in Lyon. I fell into a river. I am still down. Look. No one cares, man. Like, I'm glad you got free, but leave the Batarian alone. Dane and Dana Bosk. Okay, we we'll go to Sane first. How many on board? Gareth? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting's getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. Now, this is going to be home for a while. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Sane, well, don't you look the picture of dominance. Men, get ready for trouble. Okay. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Interesting. <clears throat> I agree we need this guy on our team. You don't need Sedaris basically means that Sedaris will know that he's taken control. And when we came to Bailey, there were a whole bunch of people already harassing him to let her out. Like, he was almost on the verge of letting her out. He was trying to stall them. We came in, okay, but there's many more people. Um, if we say we don't need Sedaris, they're going to bust bust her out anyway. And then he, she's going to come and kill him. And me. Um, but if we lay a trap for her... I'm sure Bailey won't mind if she dies, I guess. I don't know. But I need to make sure this guy knows how to fight. We kill her. I get it. I release Sedaris so you can take her down and assume control of the gang. Exactly. Be but a man. What are you... It's brilliant. You'd earn Arya's respect instantly. Uh... Yeah. You see right through me. And then I'd make the deal with Arya. Right? <laughs> exactly. You've got this all figured out. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Yeah, that's the plan. Let Sedaris out of jail. She won't be breathing free air for long. <laughs> Good. Shoot Good man. <laughs> okay. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't do anything, Renegade. I was just chatting. I was just chatting, and he's, he's going to do it. Right. Dana Vosk, you heard none of that, I hope. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. Okay. What are you not telling me here? There must be more to Araka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Right. Araka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. I need him on my side. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm not gonna kill a military man because he's doing his fucking job. But I'm not gonna just outright say I won't kill for you because then he'll just turn around and go, no, no, no. So I'll take care of it. I'm not gonna kill him. I'll reason with him. 
You won't have to worry about Araka for long. Cause you'll be dead. Love it. Commander Shepard taking out the Blue Sun's trash, huh? That Arya is sure something special. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. Why would she settle for you? What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? <laughs> Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if okay. he won't listen to Raisin, call me, and I'll take care of it. I'm guessing Save the Soft Cell is calling her out on uh, I'll take care of it, clearly meaning killing. No need to candy coat it, Arya. Ah, oh, Shepard, you think you know me so well. I just don't see why you couldn't tell me the details yourself. Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. <laughs> yeah, good. he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. What about the food we were promised? Uh, it's been allocated to the Presidium. Poison then contact food. Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vicarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. Bailey will do it, trust me. Right. So, now where the hell do we go? We're bouncing back and forth. Oh, hang on. Um, Arya Tlok, James, Liara, General Araka is in the courtyard by Liara. Well, okay. I'm sure there was a way of doing this a uh, little bit more efficiently rather than going back and forth, but uh, I have to go tell Bailey. You heard you talked with Sedaris II in command. What are you up to, Shepard? Release Sedaris immediately. She won't be a threat to anybody. Something tells me I don't want to know, but I trust you. I'll release her today. Sure hope you don't come to regret this. I'm hoping... Welcome, Commander Shepard. He's please just going to fuck her up One moment, and just please. kill her. I, mean, I don't want to fight her or anything. Just like, ah, yes, you're the boss now. Bam. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. I guess it doesn't matter how I do it. I just need to tell him about it. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -da. uh four. So that is right, left, right. Right, left. Araka! Commander Shepard. General Araka, I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable. Oh, you're the I drunk recall. bastard! Yes, neck deep in drink just before I retired. <laughs> I'm clean now. Reinstated. Cool. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Okay. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. True, we need this to be a battle There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. I'll get the weapons from you. Oh, sorry, for you. Um... Yeah. I don't really see why not. I mean, a black... A black market guy wants to sell. I have money. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Cool. Oh. I mean, we're not going to kill a general just because... Can it? That is above here. Cool. Uh... Can it? Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Joker and uh, Edie or uh, that. I really appreciate it. Panic. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. 
I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? <laughs> I already got harassed by the old Turian with the bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. Right. So what, you want bottle caps in case we have a fallout situation? So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. Okay, okay, I understand. <clears throat> That's not unreasonable. What? I mean, artifacts, I don't know, but hard stock, hard goods. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Credits don't talk with me, Commander. CSEC wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple of artifacts. I mean, that's very vague. That's very vague. A couple of artifacts. So do I just keep popping shop. back All and kind of saying, hey, will this do? Will this do? I guess if we get any Prothean stuff, you'll probably want that. Hello. Commander, unless you can find a new source of weapons for CSEC, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. Place a kill order. Holy shit. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'll get you your weapons, General. I appreciate the effort, but I've spent too much time out of action, Commander. Won't be able to sit on my hands much longer. Okay, so we can't really do that at the moment, unless there's artifacts we can find here. Um, I think that is actually everything here. Unless I have to go and see Bailey again. Aria Blue Suns. Nope, that's that. Okay. So yeah, we've actually done everything on the Citadel, I think. And now I want to go and see the Krogan. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Go to Normandy One Docking moment, Bay. Please. Starting to get my hang of the hang of what's around here. It's a big old now place. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. I like it because it's smaller than the first game. But there's more in it. They've they've not just got open space. They've actually um, filled it out nicely. Right then, back to the Normandy and onwards. Hello, Commander. Hello. I have a terminal. Omega, it's time. Shepard, I'm ready to discuss that pet project I mentioned when we spoke in Purgatory. Come to Dock 42 in the Citadel, a Batarian named Bray will be waiting. I just fucking left. Ugh, we'll do that later. <laughs> Next time we go to the Citadel, we'll do that. Um, leave orbit. Meet Dr. Bryson, go to Dock 42. Okay, so that is another main mission, I'm guessing. Meet with diplomats. Recover the Prothean Artifact. Find Artifacts. Oh, I wonder if that's the Blue Suns thing. Cerberus Lab. Well, I am a sucker for getting a Krogan. And I want to go see the Diplomat. Because the Krogan have been invited. Right. Krogans. Oh yeah, we do our scanning thing, can't we? I'm guessing it's safe. If we're meeting up here, it's probably safe. Diplomatic ships. The diplomatic ships of the Salarians, Turians, and Krogan float far away from one another, out of weapon range. Messages sent by each faction indicate that they would welcome the Normandy as a neutral meeting ground for their diplomats. The fact that they have not agreed on a ship to serve as a neutral meeting point before now does not bode well for the negotiations. Yeah. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. 
Krogan clan chief. That was Rex last time. I hope this doesn't start another war. Oh, God, I hope it's Rex. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan yes. has a name. Erd not Rex. Erd not Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Now we are talking. Yes. Absolutely not. The Fuck genophage off. is non-negotiable. No, it is. It is 100% on the table. You neutered the fighting race. And now we have to fight. Unneuter them, give them babies, grow them up, and kill shit. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? Like now. It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. Aww. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. Yeah. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. <laughs> your people miscalculated. Um... We've seen intelligent Krogan. You know, there's the doctor, uh, there's the mechanic, there were polite Krogan, uh, there's a fucking poet in Tachanka now because he dates Nazari. Um, they're not just savages, it's just they've been resorting to being savages. As Rex said in the first game, most of my people are mercenaries because they can't have families, they can't have children as such, so they just give up and go for a life of crime. You have put them in this situation. And we need them. I'm sorry, we absolutely need them. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise that Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. The Krogan do deserve a cure. Think of it like a, a prison sentence, if you will. They've been punished enough. They've, they've served their time. They've got something now they never used to have, which is a unified leader. It's still lots of different clans, but they've kind of unified are, are, are behind the clan chief, which is Rex. So if we make sort of deals with them of, we'll cure the genophage, but you have to have a structure of power. Don't see it being a problem. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years. Oh, if shit. You're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Didn't know it was that long. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. The data we saved from, um... A Solarian Morgan's scientist, kid. Malin, grew a conscience. No, he was Morgan, on my planet, yeah. testing Spill a us. cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here <laughs> sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? They have females oh, that are immune. the genophage benefit my people? How would Curie... We're about to be made extinct. To quote Peter Quill, we're one of the idiots that live in the universe that's about to be destroyed. Are you... Fucking moron. Um, you need allies. I don't care. I need... I, 
I don't care. I really don't like her. What does it matter? Palavin is burning right now. Earth is burning right now. If it takes a cure to cement this alliance, then that's what I'm doing. He's right. The hard truth is we don't have a choice. Give Rex what he wants. Absolutely. Or none of us will survive long enough to know who was right or wrong. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be... Will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. Oh, yeah. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. And that's why you don't have any friends and are left in the room alone. You're trying to bully everyone else by just saying the Krogan are savages, but they've shown anything but. Oh wait, are we going now? Wait, no. I, I thought there was just like a discussion. Oh shit, okay. Um, we're going to get some Krogan females. I'm guessing we'll be fighting, <laughs> seeing as um, we've got these people. Um, Salarians. Bring Edie. Oh, no, if we're going with Rex, should we just go old school? Garrison, Liara, have Rex with us. All we need is Tally. And Ashley. And parts of Caden. <clears throat> oh, oh, whoa! Badass helmet! Okay, um, let's go with Army. Going with, uh... Uh, desert camo and uh... yeah we'll go with a darker Liara appearance and we're going old school assuming Rex is coming with us because he's going to land on Sir Kesh, which is a Salarian place and I'm guessing he's just going to kill everyone um okay <laughs> I kind of want a half moon. <laughs> so, um, increase the ammo, which is always helpful because I miss a lot, and increase the damage. Why not? Uh, we'll get rid of the mattock, which I never thought I'd say, and the predator. <laughs> oh, this is fucking ridiculous. Um, ultralight. And rounds per magazine, a scope, slot occupied. Oh, I see, we can only put one bit in each section. So increase headshot damage, fuck it, why not? I don't know how well this is going to go, it's going to be shit. Um, hey, you have the execution of pistol too, why not? Uh, I don't know whether these stats affect NPCs, but if so, I want headshot damage and accuracy. I mean, go on, Liara, I'm sure that's the kind of pistol for you. And as for you, Garrus, <laughs> I'd love to give you a harpoon gun, but no, you can go old school. We'll have the Viper, increased damage, ammo, I'm not sure, yeah, um... I mean, yeah, let's just go for a couple of basic upgrades, and then we'll just have some suppressive fire, increase the accuracy, rounds per mag, so you don't have to reload as much. Okay. Uh, fitness, because I'm going to need more health. Increase melee damage bonus. I melee sometimes, but not all the time. Increase melee damage again, increase health and shields. Decrease shield recharge. Okay, so actually, yeah, I, I, even though this level isn't that use, useful, I do need it. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I was saving for sentry turret. Bollocks. Um, 
overload. We're definitely going to need that. Uh, I want you to hit more people, actually. We're getting more clusters of enemies. Uh, neural shock. Yeah, if you want to... Oh, I don't have enough points for that. That's fair. And proximity mines, because why not? And Liara, you don't have any points that I can spend. Okay. Didn't think we were doing this now. Thought we were just talking. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. Homeworld? We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. <laughs> I have to, because it's Rex. We have this this bro banter of just, hey, kill a, kill a Turian, kill a Solarian. Yes, that's funny. If they start backtracking, the angry Krogan act couldn't hurt. Couldn't. Who said anything about acting? Okay, don't actually... Just try think. to keep it verbal. These females are the best and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Commander, I have a Solarian oh, base the on sensors. Oh, boys are back in town! Set her down. This is amazing. It's just the nostalgia. I'd love to know what... I, I want to replay it again straight away just to see what Edie and James would say. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Oh, whoa, 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 no, no, Rex. no. Ah! Oh, shit. We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? I forgot he was biotic. Restrain your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. You think I can restrain him? What planet are you on? You should apologize. The Solarian hospitality always come with sharpshooters. This is an insult to the Alliance. Please understand. No matter what some politician might say, Krogan are still considered a hostile race. <laughs> That's fair. I wonder why. However, on behalf of the Solarian Union, I apologize. But okay. we must insist that Krogan remain under guard. <laughs> I think that's that's <clears throat> that's fair. <laughs> I mean, he apologised for kind of what happened, and he just wants some guards to stay with Rex as long as he's not got guns pointed at him. I can handle this, Rex. Anything goes wrong, and all bets are off. That's fair. <laughs> Rex. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Good to meet you. Is that a yark? Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. <laughs> As you can see, this base contains sensitive <laughs> information. Broker. Holy shit! Uh, yeah, sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. That is very, very fair, actually. But... I don't know, because the Yarg are a sentient race, clearly. And you've kept one in prison. You've got three fertile female Krogan. And you've kept them in prison. You're not studying Kroger. This is actually a really bad place. Seems like a good place to hide things you don't want the galaxy to know about. Like female Krogan. I'm aware of how this must look, but it was for their own good. They were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. We brought them here to stabilize their condition. 
This whole planet smells wrong. <laughs> I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Okay. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Okay. Something don't smell right there because they went and got the female Krogan from Tachanka and took them back here and didn't tell anyone. And it was some stolen Blair Witch style footage that we've got where they exist. Please don't touch that. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Wet paint? Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. I'm an engineer, bitch! Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Okay, go for it. Really? You must stop touching it. Don't get angry at me. Once more, the Salarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine, if you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzer. We've already been down that road. No more. <laughs> he told me off. Oh. I'm weirdly entertained by things like that of just, hey, touch this a billion times. Agree with them or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. But they're going to cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote you. Until then, stay sharp <laughs> and keep your mouth shut. That's a good line. If I want your opinion, I'll promote you. This is a restricted area. Please stay back. Ah, Mean. Okay. I kind of like the, um... The outfits that the Solarians have. The Solarians come from, huh? the bottle openers on the front. No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Hey Rex, how you doing, man? Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. I agree. I know I said to act the angry Krogan, Rex. That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. <laughs> Okay. I mean, they did have a lot of, um, snipers on you. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian never served raw. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the Broker was very busy. Rex, how intelligent are you, man? How good are your spies? Fair play. I mean, this is just showing the Dalatrus that Krogan are worth so much more than you think. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Hmm. Clans Jorgal and Rabidor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tachanka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeer we'd be standing here doing this together? How long ago was that, man? Oh. Boys are back. I'm so happy. Uh, Krogan females, what do you know about them? What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. Oh, hang on, hang on. I might have been thinking about this the wrong way. I thought that when the genophage is cured, the next children that are born won't have the genophage. But you're saying you can actually undo it in a living person. 
So adult females everywhere will have the genophage cured and can have children straight away. That's instant replenishment of our armies. <laughs> like, over, like, two generations and our army will technically be stronger because instead of weak humans and Asari, they'll all be Krogan. <laughs> like, we'll win the war, there'll just be two humans left and a bunch of Krogan. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty harsh treatment that they sort of pretty harsh treatment. I'm guessing Malon's experiments are the pretty harsh treatment, which they were. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. Oh, the decoys. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. What a horrible way to live. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. The Krogan live their life like I think I'm playing this playthrough. We're sacrificing a lot. We're doing bad things, but we're doing it to survive. They've got no choice. They have to do shit like that. If they find a fertile female, my god, they, you protect them with an army and a half. Um, what do you know about the Reapers that are on your lands? Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. Wish you were on the council, man. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant monsters. Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, <laughs> are you? The last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. <laughs> Just wait till this war is over. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to compete for who's got the biggest statue at the end of this. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. I mean, I'll try it. I like to try foreign foods. Um, a cyber analyst over at Intel told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the walls. The Turians have the biggest fleet in the galaxy. Hold the line, man! Kira he! Commander Shepard, it's yes. Major Kira he. I'd heard you were coming. Oh, have we met? Don't ghost him, man. Come on, I remember you. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. You're major. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. <laughs> you saved my men that day. Good to see a friendly face, Major. Oh. Garrus Vicarian. Always a pleasure. So glad I brought these guys. And same to you, Dr. Tassoni. Of course you know them all. Major. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. Oh, I'm so fucking happy they recognize this stuff. Bringing people back. Such a, an intelligent game. Just the idea that they've sort of, in the third game, that this one, they must have a billion lines of dialogue that people never hear. Just because if, oh, if you pick this one and this one, and then this one, and then this person dies, and this person... And then finally, you get this one line of dialogue that references that. It's probably a line of dialogue that nobody's ever heard before. Um... Yeah, let's go through everything, man. Uh, what are your duties now you're a major? How did you get posted to this base, Major? I led the team on to Chunka that found the females. Nasty business. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. Test subjects were unaccounted for. The females easily escaped his lab. Hang on, I might be misremembering this, but the Shadow Broker DLC had the, um... the data log for when they dispersed the secondary genophage um didn't it have kirahi in charge wasn't kirahi mordin and malon in that group i think it was kirahi so in which case he has first-hand knowledge and all that stuff uh what do you know about the krogan females are they good what do you think about bringing the female krogan here our scientists say it's important to preserve the females. Evolutionary paradigms. I say when people know you're hiding something valuable, they'll want to steal it. Either way, I have my orders. They'll be your problem soon enough. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're holding something as precious as that, I mean, that's the most precious thing for a Krogan. Fertile females. If you're holding that, there's no logical reason for it. You will never be able to convince them. Because at the end of the day, you're hiding something. 
Now let's talk about the good old days in Vermeer. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Vermeer. Yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage cure, yet now it's the key to an alliance. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within STG. Whoops. All I remember from that is, I can't remember the exact line, but it's like Ashley coming up and like, hey, do you want me to kill him? And he's like, no, no, I don't want you to kill him, you moron. Um, Rex is here with me. You might have noticed him jumping out and killing everyone. I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Our colony's three systems away saw it. <laughs> yes, and he's rather angry about the security arrangements. Apologies, but better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our med pig couldn't handle it. I mean, the shotgun's not the issue, it's the Krogan. With or without a shotgun, he will kill most of this base. Uh, the Reapers hit. Are the Solarians prepared for war with the Reapers? I've heard what they're doing to your Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. True. Though rumors suggest you're building a super weapon of some kind. If it was anyone else, I might say no comment, but... Here are he. Rooms are true. This business with the females is part of it. I need the Turian support, and they need the Krogans. Which is why I never became a diplomat. Too much hand-holding. Leave it to the Dalatresa. Yeah. Uh, tight security. You like keeping this place locked up? Security seems high. Are you expecting trouble? Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. I can't help but think, with Solarians coming up with the plans, the Turians marshalling the troops and the Krogans being the troops, that's just like the perfect army. And then the Asari... I don't know, they're kind of bards. They're just writing stories about the wars that everyone else wins. Uh, right, I mean, I should be going now. Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking Earth. You'd do that? Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. Oh, you complete and Good utter day. legend. You are oh, what a man. Another incursion? Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. It's like someone's testing our defenses. Appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. Oh, interesting. Uh, I am going to, at this point, celebrate the reunion with a couple of uh, sausage rolls, because I'm starving. They say you should never eat on stream. Send Fuck confirmation from the Dalatras that the exchange is proceeding. Yes, sir. And ask her for more warning the next time the Krogan leader shows up unannounced. Yes, sir. I wasn't serious. She'll maroon you on Tachanka with raw meat strapped to your back if you do that. Oh. Then she'll record the Thresher Moors eating you as a warning to anyone else who challenges her. <laughs> That's a point. I've not seen a Thresher Moor yet. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. <laughs> no promises. But yeah, there's been, um, obviously, uh, pressure Malls were the worst thing in the world in the first game. Um, they were a really fucking tough thing to kill in the second game with Grunt. <clears throat> I wonder if we will see them in the third game. I mean, the, the Krogans could actually summon one. Can Rex ride a Threshamore into battle? I'm hoping yes. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the Genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. The Krogan are going to play a, a part in the future of saving us all. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Okay. You asked me to go in there alone. Why are you not coming with me?
Now take this elevator down, and someone will... Rex. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. The Reaper's here? Okay. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Shepard, excellent timing. Yes. What to have you here? More. Oh, Morden. Eyesight still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. <laughs> oh. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free female. You're the fucking mole. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes, can explain later. Security warning's not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Hell yeah, let's go, man. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These didn't survive. Wait, the there's three there. I thought there were three fertile Krogan. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed, data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. You did your best, man. I never doubt you on that. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. One if she dies, Krogan. genophage cure... Problematic. Oh my god. All our eggs are in one Krogan basket. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. All right. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess, what she's been through. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? You're a bargaining chip, fuck. Why are you so worried? Why are you paranoid? Have the Solarians been mistreating you? Beautiful Those music. are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? The voice, the outfit, the music, the legitimate goosebumps. Just... <laughs> really invokes how important this person is uh, it's to save the Krogan like you are their last hope you're the future of the Krogan race I'm fighting for that then I hope you brought an army I brought a Rex give me an update outbound communications have been severed we're cut off secure all data to off-site location What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Reaper. Shepard, it's Rex. Cerberus troops are attacking. Cerberus? Get the females out of there now! Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? Yeah. No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. <laughs> now, please release Krogan. <laughs> oh, Morden. We might have our differences in opinion, Need to monitor man, the pods but... if there's quarantine procedures. Oh, I love you. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage Cure. <laughs> Morden, she's valuable. But don't worry, we've got you back. You'll see Tachanka again. I promise. I promise, man. Get your elevator, Shepard. Okay. Everyone at ready stations. 
don't want a sniper because this is close range. So we're going assault rifles. We're gonna have two executioner pistols, and we're gonna have a. Honest, something <laughs> wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. Okay. There. Try it now, Commander. Yep. Oh crap! Run! Nice emergency call there, Garrus. Oh crap. Commander Shepard, are you all right? Yep. Is there another way out I'm of good. here? We all good? We are. Ooh. I can open it from here. It's Marion. Cerberus Force is trying to locate female. Okay. Quarantine checkpoint under attack. Hurry. Shepard, we're running out of time. We need to get out of here. As long as there's not a time limit. Shepard, it's Rex. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. Don't do it, James. miserable for Cerberus. This looks worse than that. I cannot see shit. Uh, let's go to Sniper Rifle 5. That's a grenade. I don't like that at all. Have another blunt to try and suss him out. I just shot the Yara through the head. There we go, my first harpoon is sticking out of my Asari thing. Okay. Oh, fuck, I'm trying to charge it! Shit! <laughs> this would be the perfect setup if I could shoot. Damn it! <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this game. I think I just sent I'm someone sure flying. Okay. I am terrible at this, but it's funny, and that's the main thing. More incoming. Is it? Oh shit. Don't want to take cover in the lab! No, no, I won't. Hopefully. The problem is, I'm looking at the ceiling when I actually hit them, so I don't know if I've killed them. The female isn't going to last long against this sort of firepower. Let's say yes. Shepard, Cerberus in the vicinity. Hurry! We're on our way. Okay, no worries. I just want a very quick look in here. For no reason at all. Oh, shit. Can I release you? BC-732 Beyond has been authorized for covert uplift. They are ideal candidates for expanding Solarian influence with full deniability. The risk is minimal. What? Obviously, they've never had to fight a yard face to face. Yeah, you're telling me it kicked our ass. Okay. Yard specimen. I thought we had to kill it then. Careful. There goes the next shadow broker. <laughs> Could have sworn he was muttering to Sony the whole time. Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> just ripping on Liara the whole time. Oh, this this is this is just friends getting together. Standard stuff. Oh, I'm loving this fucking mission. Shepard, Cerberus troops at checkpoint. Attempting to kill Krogan. Need assistance. Okay. Light him up! I'm trying to, but I can't fucking see them. I see the checkpoint. They're under fire. Let's get in there. Okay. They oh, already lifted him out of my gun. Oh, there we go. Around me is killing everything. Varen, Varen, Varen. Lots of Varen. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello. You're good. Are you okay? Containment 
shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. Oscar. I'm fine, Commander. <laughs> Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in the STG. Could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan aligns with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Summer is likely to target. Oh, you good, man? Hurry, next checkpoint. Go good. I would appreciate it if you stopped running in the way of my gun. Where's the Normandy? They are Shepard and Kraken. I'll try to draw some of their fire. Wait, is that Rex? I thought that was going to be Cortez. Shepard, last attack compromised security systems. Attempting to compensate. Hang on. We're trying to get to you, Morton. Bob. There we go. Oh, who's shooting me? <laughs> I mean, I'm not getting many kills, but I'm getting enough, um, I'm, I'm basically taking them down to one hit point, and then they're killing them. Perfect support, Shepard. That did it. Yeah, I'm just gonna chuck this through there anyway. You never know when you might need some friends. Picking up a lot of different uh, modifying pieces. Cerberus isn't fooling around. No, they are They're not. Capable of anything. Now pulling out all the stops to stop the throat. Holy shit! What a man! Major Kiri! <laughs> Just hand to hand, Cerberus. Just down the hall. Oh, you legend! Is there an easier way around? You could say that. <laughs> How do I not have one of those? Yeah, I know. Go, Commander. I'll cover you. Fuck yeah, you will. Arise, squad. Your orders are to hold position and block access to next checkpoint. You are no match for a Terry. Looks like sir. Also, I was told that you can apparently hack these. <laughs> um. Burris got some upgrades. I'll cover you, Commander. Make your advance. Taking them head on may not be the best idea. I don't know. Maybe try to flank them. When you take one of their uh, turrets, it actually uh, comes quite easy. We have to take out those turrets. No, we don't. We want them to still be there. Oh. Well, you're not going to see him in Mass Effect 4. Okay, what are we working with here? Go kill him. Right, Blinky, go kill him. Oh, he ducked to put the turret down. There we go. I will just sabotage that in case there's some more people. I do believe there is. Um, overload the turret. Shooting somebody over there. I think I don't really want to use any uh, ammunition because I don't know how hard it is going to be to get there. So... I think we got them all. There we go. Nice to the next done. checkpoint. I'm sure Cerberus isn't done. Hello. Access confirmed. Oh, I will be right there. I just want to see what's around here. Ooh, in case there might be some items. There is no items. I am wasting my luck. So, where was I? Oh, for God's sake. Really? Oh shit, yeah, you were... Ah, uh, sorry, I'm, I know there's probably going to be nothing, but I wanted to make sure he's okay. 
anything happens to Kirihi, I will kill myself. Go, Commander! Before they get to the Krogan! Where are you? Where are you, you stupid moron? Oh, fuck it. I'm sure he's fine. He's shouting at me Go, to keep going. I'm just nervous. I don't want anyone Morton else to was right. Cerberus must have been tipped off. They yeah. got here too fast. Every war has its traitors. 100%. Ooh. Oh, wait, I'm out with Cerberus, dude. Looks like they mean business. I'm headed up top. Cover. Oh shit! No! No! What's the fucking any attention? No! I was so focused on getting that one guy. Uh, okay, first aid. First aid. That's fine. Nothing happened. We're going in closer quarters here. <laughs> Go to hell, person with shield. Take your shield away, sir. <laughs> you can have your fucking shield. I have a sniper pistol. I think we got everyone. I should go up top just in case. Hello? Anybody there? Elevator malfunctioning, Shepard. Need assistance. Okay. Power relay. Is that over here? That's not over there. Shit. Through door and over there. Not integrity, shit. Take him up! Get him away from the female! Okay, usual rules. You guys kill everyone, and I just throw a turret out and say hello. Server's outside pod, Shepard. Need assistance. Good. Hog integrity is getting down there, though. Not liking that. It's almost a heart. Hello. How are some? Plugging in a double A battery. Scorpion. You know what? Fuck it. Let's let's equip it. Let's see what it is. Oh, that's Excellent. the thing that Kiryu had! Wait! Another Cerberus squad! Don't you worry. I think I have a grenade pistol. Don't let him near the female! Understood. Affirmative. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Throw the tar out. Throw a blue out. Keep up the pressure! Try to get my screws in the mail slot thing. Look at that trajectory, actually. Well, someone just disintegrated. Oh, love it. This gun is insane. Grenade launcher pistol. You good? How are you holding up? Containment shield strong, but not designed for direct fire. Celebrating my last pop -down problem, sausage, Commander. You don't know me, but I'd like to. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? Just the landing area. Hope Erdnot Rex still waiting. Oh. Cool. 
Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. <laughs> He'll be there. I'll see you up top. I love how Rex is just known for being a womanizer. We found the Krogan. You found the Krogan, or I found you? I love this fucking gun. You just don't even have to hit them, you can hit the wall behind them. I think this is a pretty overpowered gun. Oh, Darren's killing me. Let me just shoot you. That was the last one. Awesome. Let's get the hell out of here. How do we go up? Shepard, get your ass up here. I can't fly around so The female's on the way up to the landing area. area. I want to be an honorary Krogan. This way. Come on, honorary Krogan squad. Move out. We're almost back up top. The top they found us. Enemy Under attack. attack. Oh, Under hello. Fire. Right, send a blinky. Send a Terry. And then grenade launcher, everyone. I mean, you're fine, man. You're fine. Never gonna get old. That's Shepard. never gonna get old. Blowing people up with a pistol. Shepard, you must authorize release. Pod then transfers to loading area. Let's get you out of there. And Rex has a fun little Krogan to play with now. Start making babies, Rex. Come on, <laughs> we need to replenish our armies. Shepard, Master That's Chief. It's the thing we saw in Jack's mission. Hello. Usual rules apply, guys. You kill it, and I will support you with sentries, turrets, and Shepherd, orbs. I can't land until you deal with that thing. It's oh, too dangerous. It's not going to kill the female, is it? Krogan has been acquired. Door is damaged. Can't get out. Stay clear. I've got this. Protect the Krogan Shepard. She's vulnerable. Okay. That's some serious fire. Maybe we can crack it open. Cerberus never did play There's fair. Power there. And I am out of here. Oh, that was a poor. You're getting old. Take that thing out. Holy oh, shit. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm immediately exactly perfect. Mellowed with age, Hattie. The pistol. Oh, yeah, look at the sticky grenades all on that. Right. Garrus, we're overloading the shit out of it. Oh. Blinky behind you. The R is dead. I'm not sticking out this shit. Come on. Did the harpoon gun do good? That did pretty good. Oh yeah! Yeah, but watch out. You still got Cerberus troopers left. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I got cocky. Yeah, alright, get the fuck up. Get 
get up. I think you did it. Looks clear from here. I'm coming in now. Oh yeah. No problems. Apart from the smear on the floor that is Liara. Fight, man. You had me worried there for a minute. Let's make this quick. <laughs> the way. Let's get you out of there. Such a gentleman. There they are. That's them. Oh. oh shit. Be still, my I beating heart. Myself, Rex. <laughs> Women. <laughs> she a romance option? <laughs> Double tap. Why is Cerberus here? What do you want? Surely we didn't kill anyone. There must have been someone that we just dinged and is uh, is hurt that we can question. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. Yeah. We'll need all the help we can get. We can team them two up. It's the dream team. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. <laughs> Good. Hack it out. Such a badass hatchet. Oh shit, is that it being built? It's like a Death Star on a stick. It's a perfect mace. Are we just gonna build a... We're gonna... This is it, this is the end of the game. We're gonna take the human reaper that we didn't kill, and we didn't destroy, and we're gonna make it wor work properly and it's going to hold that and just smack reapers in the face with it. It is a mace. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Who's looking at me for? How long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. <laughs> Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Yay! Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. <laughs> it has, actually, because we're not no longer... Oh, no, we're back under Alliance. When we were with Cerberus, we were eating, like, steak every night. Until Rupert got taken. So, actually, we were eating pretty bad. It was just microwave meals and ramen. Uh... The difficulty of the cure. Are you going to be able to do it quickly? Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Just so I know, like, was everyone aware 
that you did the secondary change of the genophage? Like, did Rex know that? Because if not, he still might eat you. Uh, just do what you can, Mod. Then get started, Morton. I know you've got we'll it in your it hands. So... Always do. We'll be in medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Cool. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under <laughs> circumstances. Suggest so speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. And start calling Rex Adam then. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it in private. Oh, really? Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? <clears throat> Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss somewhere else. Oh, you're like I'll children. find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Fucking children. <laughs> oh, I'm talking private. I want to spend time with Daddy. Right, who have we got? Evie, Joker, Trainer, Rex, and... Oh wait, they're both in here. There's Primark. Where's the fucking Kroger? Oh, there he is. Well, it's not very private. He's just over there, but what do you want? Hell of a show down there on Sir Cash. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. Yeah, yeah. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. <laughs> uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. More Rachni. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. I can't All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and I'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. I mean, Arlac Company. Is that a company full of the SAS of Krogan? Oh, yes. I want to be part of that mission. The testosterone in the room. Uh, yeah, well, after the cure, are you going to retire? Are you going to get a garden house somewhere? What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. Yeah. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. Good. Yeah, glad to hear it. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. Yeah, it sounds good to me, man. Uh, how's Tachanka doing? You're not on it. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tachanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. I mean, that, realistically, that is probably going to be one of the hardest planets for the Reapers to take. Because their ground forces aren't going to be able to do shit. Like, they'll just... The Krogan will just eat them. And it's just like, right, okay, yep, yeah, cool. That, that's lovely. We'll just detonate a few nuclear bombs. Uh, how's the female Krogan? And how'd you like the name Eve? Back on Sirkesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. <sighs> then talk about it some more. <laughs> I mean, have good ideas, Rex. You should listen. Yeah, but they have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. Oh, I'm loving this dynamic. This is so good. So they're actually intelligent. They're actually like the thinkers, the diplomats. But because of the genophage, the females have had to take a back seat in all of this and literally focus on reproduction, meaning that the face of the Krogan is the males. Ah, oh, it makes a lot of sense as to why the Krogan are actually much smarter than people given sort of credit for. If they actually got to know the females, they'd know them to be a 
respected diplomatic breed. Ah, can't wait to go and talk to Eve. Um, yeah, the Rachni. So they're back. I melted one of them. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? I watched the Queen die. They can't be back. I know. I was there. I don't get it either. But our scouts found something. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. That is true. But and we, we don't have the Krogan at full force. But if it's just one, and if they're just starting, then if that's the Arlak company thing, I'm on it. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. <laughs> I still don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. <laughs> Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? Good man. Going through doctor's tests. Right. Primark Victus. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. <laughs> I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. It's just over Our it. ship went down on Chuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. Fuck off. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. No way in hell are you in any position... I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help and understanding. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I want to know... I want to know what this all is. There's no way you can hold that from me. Um, Turian, help for Earth. How we doing? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Did I already asked this. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. New duties, Palavan situation, Turian chip on Tachanka after the genophage kill. So these two are new. Uh, oh yeah, I want to know what this is, mate. You don't get to just say I'm sorry, that's classified to me. Your men that crashed on Tachanka. How many are there? A platoon. You said their mission that's was a matter a of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Bitch, don't turn Look, away from me. If you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. Oh, fucking Turians. The commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? Victus. <laughs> my son. I needed someone I could trust completely. How important is this mission that you sent your fucking son? Uh, okay, on, on that note, <laughs> what are you going to do after the Jennifer HQ? The Solarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. Last stand? Hmm. Uh, do you beg your pardon? Last stand, the Krogan's really pushed the Turians all the way back. They'd have just played billiards with a couple of moons and asteroids. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, <laughs> yeah, go, directing yeah. them against our colonies. We had no choice. The Genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. It's interesting because the Krogan Rebellions, you only ever hear the Solarians and the Turians. But the Krogan Rebellions, the Asari were the first race in this sort of area. So what did they do in the Krogan Rebellions? You don't ever hear about uh, Asari dying in their droves to stop the Krogan. Uh, Krogan make unusual allies. I almost don't want to say that, but I will. 
just to hear what's said. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Good man. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. One day we will stand in a ship of Krogan design. It will probably be a giant sword made out of other swords, but we'll stand in it. Uh, I think that's us done. That's all. I should go. Of course, Commander. So there's a mission that I have to do that I'm not allowed to know what I have to do. <clears throat> and I have to go and re-kill the Rachni. <laughs> Bitch, I've melted you once. I will melt you again. Okay. You think the Salarians would have a base on their homeworld secured better? Nah, they were solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Salarians might as well have been throwing rocks. Yeah, you see, in my head, I didn't think this through, that I think I've made Cerberus stronger than they were before, because I've left them the base, and I thought we'd just go and kill Cerberus and then take it ourselves. But it turns out that they've all got Reaper upgrades because I've... Uh, I guess they've spent the last six months um, practicing with the Reaper Commander, stuff. Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachunka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. Yeah, sure. No worries. Commander, nice to see you again. Lady. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. Good. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm nice. still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. I mean, you'll get used to it. I mean, it is true because wasn't her thing right at the beginning? Like, she was doing tests on it and then we kind of kidnapped her and saved her. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you get to go home normally. <laughs> you don't get to go home here. This is your home. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> This is wonderful. Oh, I like her so Back much. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. So you don't mind getting cozy, is what you said? Commander, I've set up a secure communications with the Turian and Salarian governments and added their combat data to our boards. Hopefully it'll give us some idea of what's going on. Okay. Commander? Oh, it's gonna be so hard not romancing her. I'm assuming she's a romance, but yeah. As soon as there's an English-speaking person who's a bit of a nerd, spends a billion pounds on a toothbrush, and, uh... She's just adorable. She's really adorable, and I like her. Uh, the voice actress is uh, very good. Uh, Spectre status confirmed from Ashley Williams. Commander, Udina made an offer and I accepted. I am a Spectre. I can't believe it. With everything falling apart, what does this even mean anymore? No, I don't know why I said that. Does, does this even mean anything? <laughs> <laughs> All the authority, resources, freedom, the whole scary package, but I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Come by the hospital if you get a chance. They're still keeping me here, but I'm planning on sneaking out soon. So she's ready to go. ANN alert. New article on indoctrination. Thessia. Asari scientist Rana Thanoptis. I know her. I know her. She was the one that was in the... Um... Where have we got Grunt? Oka? Dr. Oka. The, uh, the Krogan. 
um, she was his secretary and was just like, hi, I know I'm doing terrible things again because in the first game she was Saren's like secretary, basically. She's just like the secretary to the evil guys every single fucking time. Uh, so Rana Thanoctis has died in custody, allegedly committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Asari military officials. Prior to her death, investigators said Thanoctis spoke of voices in her head, which they believed to be indicative of her indoctrination. The voices foretold the ascension of the Asari and told Thanoctis that anyone fighting the Reapers needed to die. The Noctis worked on a top-secret project for former Spectre Saren Arturius several years ago, where she likely became indoctrinated. She received a pardon from the Asari government in exchange for providing research assistance on Re Reaper technology. Thanoptis was believed responsible for planting a makeshift explosive device that detonated at a research centre, killing five visiting Asari military officials, along with four civilians. The attack seriously wounded a dozen more and caused significant damage to the facility. Investigators, investigators say they are not seeking any more suspects in the case. I mean, I feel sorry for her. Because I feel like she worked for like an agency and one came up and like Saren was just like, hi, I need a secretary. It's like, yep, yeah, we'll send one over to you. And she got indoctrinated in the first. The second one. The second one, she was still doing good things, but in a bad way. Like, that's that's what she's always kind of been doing. And it turns out she was indoctrinated from the first game. And blew up some Masari generals. So, the renegade option of shooting her in the face, which I believe I had in both games, is actually the right decision. Major Kiri, hold the line. Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you again on Sirkesh, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. It seems fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats, so be it. To that end, I wanted to reiterate that STG will be there to help when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You were there for us in our hour of need. We look forward to returning the favour. Best of luck, Major Kirihi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment. Special task group. What a god. A Solarian god. Ah, oh, he is going to hold the line with me. We are going to do a speech together. Info for you. Hi, Shepard. It's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and that Liara's with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. I can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin and of tripping over that drone. I was fair enough. Um... I don't even know how it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after I turned off its tracking. I dug up some interesting information for you. Talk with Glyph to sort out the data. I hope it helps. Shepard, it's getting rough out there. He's in the field. He's doing his own shit. And, uh... Yeah, that's gonna be uh, tough for him, I hope. Because there seems to be a little bond between him and Liara. I hope that he's uh, gonna be okay. Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die. And... No, that's about it. Who you need, man? Jaka? So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well. You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Vorcha? Yes. You're like, legitimately, yes. The Krogan are cannon fodder. Fuck off. We have to stand together. They're a race. They're a massive sentient race all around the galaxy. Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. <laughs> That's true. We kind of do have a good guy mad scientist. And hey, if it's good enough for Endgame, then it'll be good enough for Mass Effect. Time travel. Commander. Edie? It is good you came by. I have questions about the Genophage. Yeah. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tichanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. 
On Earth, Holy bugs have a lot of young, shit. too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Yeah? Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. Oh, this keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. <laughs> Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. I like that. That is attention to detail within the law that you've written. That is a dungeon master's wet dream. That is so good. Because they've written these Krogan to basically just be teenage boys going through puberty. That's just all they are. There's just anger, rage, and food. And, you know, the idea of, right, now we've saved the Genophage, or we're going to save the Genophage, hopefully, we're going to cure it. The Krogans have a thousand babies in a year? Jesus. So we're going to have tens and hundreds of billions of Krogan growing up. And when it comes to sending them on, testosterone's going to get in the way. We're going to have to come up with something. I mean, we're basically the entire universe. If we do successfully manage to get the Krogan going, the entire universe is just going to have to come up with gun and ammo producing factories. Because all we're going to be doing is just churning off, churning off, churning off ammo for the Krogan. Because why risk ourselves when they're just conveyor belting billions and billions of, of soldiers? Um, it's interesting, actually, because in theory, we wouldn't have an issue if we had the guns of the first game. And I understand that mechanically they didn't want infinite ammo, which the old guns did use to have. But... It kind of ruins the, um, ruin it. It kind of just puts a little plot hole. Of are you telling me that in someone's collection they don't still have one of those guns? You give it to a Krogan, they have unlimited ammo. Uh, right, well let's go right down to the bottom. Uh, army car, armory, cargo hole. Let's see a dog. There's the dog. If I have to pet the dog, I'm assuming it's like the fish. It'll die if you don't pet it. Hey there. That's it? Okay, just hey there. Jimbo? Hey there, man. Sorry I didn't take you on so cash, but, um... The Aura and Garrus. I wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Kesh. I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. <laughs> Rex is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. Yeah. <laughs> More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer? Hey. That's the same. Um, yeah, okay, well, seeing as he just said that, I'll bring him, I'll bring him to Chichanka. Don't see an issue with that. Where the fuck is Cortez? Well, he is here somewhere. Hello. There you go. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Everything okay with the shuttle? <laughs> Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. Can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. Yeah, dude, like you've just been doing like shopping channels and everything like that. Just chill the fuck out, man. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. 
that's not a good place to be, man. That's a really bad place to be. If you have to exhaust yourself and keep yourself active just to put off a negative thought, that means you're not over that thought. You're not, you're not trying to get over it. You need, I'm sorry, man, you need therapy. And that's nothing wrong in that at all. Um, I guess I'm the protagonist. I am your therapy, so... Uh, I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. Let's go to purgatory together. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Do it for me, man. You need to, to take some time out. And just a little thing dropped in there. Auditory uh, emulators. I love the idea that the computer has sensors of seeing what ship is going past, what noise that ship makes, and emulates it inside the cabin to you. That is amazing. <laughs> Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. I find it very hard to say no to you, Shepard. <laughs> As it should be. <laughs> As it should be, because I'm your commanding officer. Sir Kesh certainly offered me a new experience. What do you mean? Normally, I'm not one to fly co-pilot, but when an 800-pound Krogan requests to take control of your shuttle, you comply. Probably wise. An 800 Just one more diagnostic suite. Good to see you, Commander. Rex is 800 pounds. That's like four normal people. Jesus. <laughs> okay, uh, on this one we have Diana Allers. I'll go and see Adams again as well. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. It was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander right. did for us? The colony? Yes. I was on a little thing called the news. Okay. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? So here's the thing. Traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. She you don't says, like it, get don't rid download of it. Terra Nova in order to save other Lose colonies. one colony, save five. That's the math. She is correct. She is 100% correct. Yes. I was on a little thing called the news. However, you think you can fly on it is not her place as a journalist to say that. That is the like sort that. of decision that needs to be made by military hey, command. Just an opinion piece. If you she don't says like that, don't the people of Terra Nova are like, You're saying we don't need Terra fuck Nova. off then. We're going to leave. One colony, We're going to attack. Five. We're going to do something. That's the math. You know what the commander and you did especially for don't do it on this ship. Yes. It was on a little thing called the news. She is correct. You think you can fly on but she has ship. no Sit place to say it on this ship. Broadcast something like that. And what he just That's said. Traitorous. Hey, you can't post it and then sit piece. next to it. You don't like it? Don't download it. Lose the piece or lose your spot on this ship, Allers. Done. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Thanks, Commander. What's your choice, Allers? Like you said, it's just your opinion, right? I'll pull it. Good. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. No, there's um, an opinion piece. You know, there's several opinion pieces in uh, in newspapers, and some of them are fine. They're just opinion pieces. But where's Adams? Some of them are fine. But it's just sort of, you don't need to say it. If you're hurting people, 
No one wants to hear your opinion if the only thing that can happen is you hurt people. There's no upside. And yeah, she can't post something like that and then go, right, time to go to the mess hall. Let's have some lunch and sit next to people and laugh and joke because for all I know, that place, uh, Terra Nova. Was that the Batarian asteroid bombing thing that in the first game? Terra Nova, I think it was. So let's say Copeland is from Terra Nova. Um, yeah, it's, it's not her place to be able to say, oh, let's just sacrifice it. My family there. That is a long list of people, and I do not like that. Oh, wow, a lot of people. Uh, Liara, Garrus, Morden, female Krogan in the crew's quarters, Engineer Adams, and Dr. Michelle. Hello. Is that run-ins with Cerberus? Vaguely. Years ago, I worked with a man named Armistan Baines. I thought he was with the Alliance, but found out later he was a Cerberus agent. I shudder to think how long Cerberus has planted covert operatives on the Citadel. Ooh. Hello, Commander. Hello, sir. Hello, Commander. Why the fuck are you not down there in uh, engineering, where you're the only person working? Everything okay in the med bay? I believe so. I can tell Martin needs some space. If a medical emergency comes up, I'll be there. For now, I'll stay out of his air, or horns. Or whatever those pokey things are called. <laughs> Commander? Air or orange or whatever those pokey things are called. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say that exactly to him. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping I get Samara in this, because there, there was some... Um, there were some flirtations. There was a little bit going on before uh, she left. And I'm hoping someone comes in here as well, because there's a... Ah, oh, I bet it's going to be Jacob. Because didn't his last things are like, yeah, man, we're going to get loud. We're going to we're going to go to a bar and we're going to do things. And I reckon that's going to be Jacob's room. Uh, this used to be Fane's. Be nice if I could convince him to come back. Would be nice. Uh, those are the toilets. <laughs> I hope nobody lives in there. Uh, so what we got? We got Garrus right at the end. We'll go see Garrus first. Then we'll go see Liara, and then we'll go see uh, Morden and the female Krogan, which I'm really looking forward to. Garamundo. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. Oh, so you're gonna I've get heard, laid. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. There, I mean, I can't wait to see her, based purely on what Rex has said of her talking about it. And then thinking about it. And talking about it some more. So, Liara, still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Are they, though? Rex knows a weirdly large amount of things, like the Shadow Broker and the fact that we've got this little uh, weapon up and coming. Uh, a call between Kasumi Goto and Professor S. Olausen. Kasumi, hey, Professor, you know that one of a kind point to point comm server you were talking about the other day? Do you have any information on its whereabouts? I have got something better. Check your front door. I... but this server's locked in a Cerberus facility. Not anymore. This will be invaluable for the Crucible. Thank you, Miss Goto. You're the brilliant astrophysicist, Prop. I'm just a tech expert doing some odd jobs. 
By the way, you would not believe how many credits Cerberus leaves just lying around in the open. I can attest to that because I've picked so many times I've pilfered their uh, lockers and bank accounts when uh, going through their stuff. Email from Professor Tisha to Dr. Odual. I was calling every supply depot stationed around the Crucible to find enough pure platinum for the Crucible's primary trigger inlay. We barely had enough left to coat a coffee maker. For the record, I love coffee, and if I'm going to get a coffee maker, it will be made of platinum. An hour later, a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the Shadow Broker. Then it flew away to scavenge more materials for the project. The ship's captain emailed me later saying the broker would stay in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. <laughs> Yara. Ready for the next mission? Yeah, sure. Um, hello. You said that I should go and see you? Ready for the next mission? I thought there was something from Farron saying I should go and see her. Okay, Please maybe not. Enjoy your day. Thank you, Blinky Light. And now. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, a bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Come on. Ah, Shepard, my friend. We were just. Molding trying to be a wingman. Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? <laughs> kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distractions counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He's trustworthy, Rex. Come on. He was your, uh, like... He said he was the... Oh, what if Rex didn't know? He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> You got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Absolutely. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. I won't do it now. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. Rex has a fear of needles. Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. And you have to do it out loud? Yes. Auditory learner. Need to hear self think. Simulate conversation to promote new ideas. Yeah. Maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Yeah. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. Oh. Firstly, I ship them to. And secondly, it's just you're talking about me dying. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. No, you're just doing it loudly and I can't sleep. Fucking badass. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the Love galaxy. the outfit. We owe a lot to you. Even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters okay. now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. Didn't the, um... There was a shaman that gave us Grunt's mission in Tachanka. And he said that, like, he had to go through daily pain. Grunt just went, your life sounds awful. <laughs> and just walked away. And it was just, Grunt, you're right, but shush. Um, yeah, female shaman. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain. And the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, 
A few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How did you become one? How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. Oh, so it's not just survival of the of of starvation. It's you're given seven days worth of food. You have seven days to get out. If you take any longer than that, you will die. How the fuck did you survive? How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. Oh. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Wow. Would she say take it, Commander? Oh, fuck yes, I'm gonna take it. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. Jesus. So what do you think of Rex? <laughs> what do you think of Rex? <laughs> yeah, when he's not trying to sire half a Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. <laughs> but I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> he's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Uh, the clans? Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that you can tell him. Okay. Finally, the X-Men are coming to the MCU. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. That is the truth. He's got a lot of support, but if ever the enemies outweigh the support, there's not really much he can do. Hey! What do you think about the genophage? I'm guessing you're against it? If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. My god, they're not shying away from hard-hitting stories here. That is... tragic. And yeah. I, I... It shouldn't have happened, but I can understand why they would think that after it happened. What stopped you? What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. Let's see the camera here. Perfect. Yeah, it is pretty harsh on the female Krogans. Like, it's all very well saying, oh, when that happened, my life began again, but. Hoping for change is not a way to live your life. What do you want to do after the genophage is cured, other than have several babies? How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. True. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. <laughs> what else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence. Excuses to earn them honor. Yeah. 
what stopped you doing it? What kept you from ending your own life? Oh. When my child didn't drop, the genophage forces that there is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day okay. will bring change. <laughs> And so if what it do you doesn't, think of the barbaric experiments of Malon? How did you get involved in Malon's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malon was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over oh, a thousand years. Really? It's time females took back <laughs> our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Wow, okay. So the females are like clan schmange. I don't care. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire. And then the darkness is no more. Oh, that's a fucking line. What about the other females? They died. I'm sorry, none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Wow. I mean, I saw what Malon did. I found Malon's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. And what about Morden Solus over there? How has Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. <laughs> no, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to Telomere's premature aging. He does that. <laughs> but I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. Wow. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... <laughs> well, it wasn't his ear. I am the very model of a scientist Solarian. I love him. Anyway, I should go. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. I love to know what she looks like. She looks a little anatomically different to Rex in the face. I love the outfit as well. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Awesome. Um, Krogan immunity. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. Holy shit, Krogan's a badass. What the fuck? Oh, it targeted their heart, so they grew another fucking heart. Or... The liver just became a heart. Just... I love Krogan so fucking much. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. Yeah, that's fair. Got a bit of fine-tuning to do. How do you feel about saving the data? So, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. Actually, it says, are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. It, like, the, the torturous, murderous, monstrous experiments have been done. There's nothing to change that. So let's at least use the, the findings from it. It would be even worse to chuck away the findings. So the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data, encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Those females that died will be goddesses in 
10, 20, 30 generations of Krogan. Which, as far as I'm aware, is like four years. Um, you know, it's... They'll go down in history. Yes, they were subjected to torture and killed. But billions of Krogan will be alive because of them. They'll be... They'll be worshipped into whatever Krogan Valhalla there is. Uh, did you name her Eve? How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Aww. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. Done. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. <laughs> well, doctor and patient sometimes do clash. You care about her. My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. He... He didn't see her as a monster. And she isn't one. She's a diplomat. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. No, well, I agree. I mean, that's the difference between faith and science, isn't it? Faith is the continuance of belief despite evidence, and science is the change of your understanding and the change of your belief, if you will, um, due to new evidence coming in. Scientific discoveries are being made. Ideas are changing. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong? Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. That's fair. That's fair. Sad he's not got many lives left. Many years left. Don't worry, man. We'll destroy Earth with your help, and then you can go and retire in a Solarian old person home. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. Aww. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> Dude, that's it. That's it. That's my entire life goal now, is to get you on that beach. Okay? You're going to be on that beach, testing seashells. I'm wondering if she sells seashells on the seashore. Oh, yes. We've not bought any fish yet, because I don't want them to die. But we have a space hamster. Yeah, there we go. Good man. I assume it's a man. Front terminal, no other items. And that's that. Okay. Well, that was a thing. Um, oh my god, so many things. Uh, N7 Cerberus attack on Tachanka. Attacan traverse the Rachni. Rachni scouting team. Oh, I've got to admit, I really want to do that because uh, Arlac company. It's going to be a troop of manly Krogan going out. Um, Turian platoon. Priority to Chunka. Continue to assist Turian and Krogan allies in the fight against the Reaper while the cure is being synthesized. So that basically means do these two and then that will become available. Citadel Aria wants me to go to Dock 42. The meaning of life and everything around it. Citadel Bar Vaughn. Go and get some people and return to Balavon. Heating unit stabilizers, Book of Planets, Alien Medigel formula, all stuff that I've got to try and find. I don't know where to find them. Uh, Turian officer wants the Alpian Crest. Nope, the banner of the 1st Regiment from the Alpian Crest. Uh, I've also got to find some artifacts so that Arya doesn't blow Araka's face off, I guess? I don't know. 
improved power grid, the pillars of strength, Benning evidence, that guy's looking for evidence that his son may or may not be dead. Citadel Dr. Bryson, still need to do that. Priority Eden Prime, I need to do that. N7 Cerberus Lab, and Shrike Abyssal. I'm just thinking of Lionel Shrike there from, uh, how, not how do you want to do this, that's a critical role. Uh, now you see me, that's it. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do next. And this video has been going on for 2 hours 50 minutes, so I probably should finish it. Um, save up. And we'll work out where we're going to go next time. So, thank you. I apologise for the long video. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll post the next video up as soon as possible. Have a great week, guys. Take care and all the best. Let's see if I can do this properly.